Hi, in this video, I'll demonstrate how to create pivot tables in MS Excel or in WPS spreadsheet. So this is our data sheet. In this case, we have variables like age, income, marital status, education, experience, and job positions. Marital status, they are of three categories, non-married, married, and divorced. In education, uh, we have again three categories, first non-grad, below grad, then grad, and then post-grads. So now we are ready to create paper tables. So in the menu bar, you see one option is insert. Just click it. Then you get uh, an option that is basically pivot tables. In the next step, what we need to do is we need to select the data sheet. So this is the range where our data is present. We just need to select this one. Rows and the columns where data is present. Then click it OK. And then bottom, you see we have two options. One, do we want to create a pivot table in a new worksheet or we want to create it in an existing worksheet? Suppose we want to create in it in a new worksheet. So you see an image of pivot table has appeared on the left side and an interesting dialog box has appeared on the right side. So this dialog box has two components. So the first component consists of field list means all variables or the data indicators, they are present here. So their list is provided here. In the second part, it is the pivot table areas. It consists of the four quadrants. One is the values. Here we have to place our key variable for which we want to carry out the analysis. Then rows, columns, or the filters. So these are uh, the options where we can place the dimensions on which uh, we want to carry out the analysis. Suppose we want to carry out analysis with respect to income. So let's place the income here in the value box. You see here. Uh, so some of the all respondents income that has come up here. Now we want to create a table in which we want to see what is the income of different marital status groups. So let me bring it to the columns. So you see here, the non-marrieds uh, total income is this one, and married people's income is this one, and the divorced people's total income is this one. Now, same uh, variable, I can drag it to row also. So you see the shape of the table has now changed. So they are placed in rows. The categories of the marital status now, they are placed in rows. Now let me make it a little more complex. On the rows, it's the marital status. And in the columns, I put education. So you see here, so it has created a table. So suppose so one is the uh, non-grad, two is the grad, and three is the both grad students. And the and the marital status is uh, non-married, married, and the divorced ones. Suppose we want to see how much is the total income of all post-grad students who are married. So you see, so this comes. 128,000 US dollars. Right? Now, one more function that is the filter. Filter can also be used. Let me take education back to the main anger and marital status also. And let me bring marital status here in filters. Now, look at here. So, the all categories they have appeared here. So I, now I can filter it with respect to uh, first category, second category, or third category. Right? Suppose I want uh, only only 
third category so you will see so for third category or the marital status uh, total value of the income what appear and if i want uh, to remove income and place some other variables suppose i want uh, here experience so i can bring it here experience so the total experience of all respondents who are divorced their income is uh, sorry their total experience is 143 years so this is a way how we create pivot tables in ms excel or in ws spreadsheet thanks for watching